how do you explain a 9.8% gap between what women earn and what men earn? Well, there are many different factors like job and age and experience and particularly time taken out of the workplace that haven't been taken into account. So you might as well say that brown-eyed people are more than blue-eyed people and call it discrimination based on this data in the same way that we're saying gender is being discriminated against. Neither are legitimate because you just haven't actually broken it down to see what the real comparisons are. Except well, we have got, well, right, the, the, well, there is a statistic which is 88% uh, 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 of jobs with salaries of £150,000 or more are held by men. Mm -hmm. Now, are you saying that's nothing to do with discrimination? It might have something to do with discrimination in certain circumstances. Unfortunately, from this data, we can't claim that because it wasn't specific at all. But I think the real reason that more women aren't in senior roles is that motherhood pay gap. The fact that women are taking significantly more time out of the workforce. The IFS actually had a study earlier this year showing that the time between when a couple has no children and the first child is age 20, women take on average a decade more time out of the workforce. That's going to impact on your career trajectory. So I want to encourage things like shared parental leave. Mm. I want to get more men taking on that burden to make of childcare. it fairer. So you'll agree it's un there's unfairness. Well, we need to be really careful. We need to look at individuals. A lot of women want to have a healthier work-life balance and want to spend time with children. I wouldn't want to take that away from them. But we need to make sure that women in society are having very honest conversations with men about what they're going to be facing if they take time out of work. Men really need to step up to the plate a bit more. I think. Can, I just ask, Penny, can, can, I just can you just ask you first of all, Penny? What, what is your view? Do you believe there is a gender pay gap, or the pay gap is gender based? Well, I do. I do, but I was just I was just about to to ask Kate because what I was going to say is I've got loads of female friends who work and they work as hard and and similar sort of things to their other halves. But when they go to schools, the first number that the schools want to take is their number to phone in an emergency. Mm. Now, what is wrong with changing that and saying, it's the men's number we'll take for, we'll but take. But I just want to kick on the gender pay gap. Yeah, first all, you do. believe there is a, there, that sex is the, is the. I, I, it's, it's one of those difficult things, isn't it? Because I do, there, you know, that bloke was right. He was sort of saying about the fact that we're a bit Jordan rubbish. Peterson, yeah. about, we're a bit rubbish about negotiating pay rises and we perhaps aren't, but, sorry, but that shouldn't matter. Mm. If we're doing. He also says, by the way, that left to their own devices, Men and women will not choose the same things. They will no, go their but separate we won't ways. Don't Scandinavia, but nurses 20 to 1, yeah. female to men. Engineers 20 to 1, men yeah, to female. Yeah, but we don't generally, we don't choose to go into low-paid work. We choose no. to go into well, the, exactly. well, that's not low pay. That's a really crude way of, of painting it. I think you do see, particularly in countries like Sweden, that are extremely generous mm. on, on um, uh, maternity leave and things like that, where they're trying to give women lots of flexibility. You do see men and women making different choices. We just don't want to box people in, right? We don't want to yeah. stereotype. Type. We want to look at individual choices. Yeah, but okay. come on, come on, Kate. You know that sort of white bosses look for more, you know, mm. more blokes like themselves. I mean, you see old Etonians employ old Etonians. It's kind of blokes have got at the top. Certain white blokes have got at the top, and they keep trying to. Replicate. But you'd accept, you'd accept, he's only at certain white yes. blokes. Yeah, it's we not need to be very men. Not a, no, 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 it's not men not all. and women. It's, it's a, a it's certain elite right. within men. Yeah. People, people in powerful positions have their own power structures. Yeah. It used to be down the golf club. But, Maybe but, it's but somewhere, somewhere, somewhere else. And women get yeah. squeezed we're out. we conflating yeah. that yeah. men get all the best jobs. And actually, whilst all the best jobs may be held by men, the kind of men that get those best jobs may be not representative oh. of mm. the male... No, no, look, there's, a, there's a class bias too, of course. Right. They've gone to certain schools and certain uh, certain universities. Bias, we know. Okay, yeah. It's also important to remember that that kind of discrimination is completely illegal and we well have said. laws yeah. to deal with that and I would much prefer, rather than putting all this bad data out into the atmosphere, all this time and money that's been put around it, I would prefer to see the government take that time and money and put it towards supporting women who are going through employment tribunals to actually Ooh. tackle Ooh, that's look, 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 Most, most so discrimination is legal and you find with tests you can have exactly the same qualifications and you can send in the application right. from a fake man, then you can send it from a fake woman with children, and the fake man, more likely than not, will get the job, and the woman will be squeezed But out. is that a bias based on sex or a bias based on children? It's, well, it's both, isn't it? I but it, because, because it is what goes to Penny says about the, the childcare spot on the woman. 